regardless of who we play, we need to play well. And you got to be sharp and be alert. And I think just doing some things that are, um, you know, we just got to all got to stay on top of what we're supposed to do. So, like I said, it's been competitive, and that's good. And it's going to need to be that way. And we got to take advantage of the rest uh, and mentally and physically be ready to go next week. Yeah, he's had a great year, and he's been a, uh, you know, just so solid. And, uh, you know, it's tough to complete the ball on him. We feel that way in practice. He's, you know, he's just, and I played with a lot of good corners. I mean, he's, he's right up there with the best of them. And it's just, you know, he knocks the ball away, intercepts the ball, uh, makes the quarterback pay. He's physical, good in a run game, good in zone, good in short, intermediate, deep. I mean, it's, he's all around just been a great player for us. I think this is a, it's just naturally a, a, a level of intensity that, you know, you can't really emulate at any other point in the season and really for us any other point in our life. It's, um, you know, we all work hard to get to this point and to have an opportunity like we have, I don't think you take them for granted. And I think you just let, you know, there's been so many plays that I've seen in my career that. You know, had we not made that one play, which could be just an extra effort, could be an arm tackle, could be, you know, just one extra push of the pile that ends up being the difference in an entire game and really an entire season. And that's what it's all about. And, you know, it's, it's great when it comes out for us. And I think you just try to express that I don't think you can compete, uh, you know, any less than what you're ultimately capable of competing at, that, that level that's intense and it's, every play and it's it's just you max out you can't leave anything you know behind you just got to give everything you got tom uh both this team's coordinators are going to be interviewing for the head coaching job this weekend um several players like chris Ogan, phil Dorsett are going to be interviewed as well uh, there's <coughs> rumor or talk about rob Gronkowski retiring after the year does this feel like this playoff run is going to be the, the last go around for for this group that you guys have had here for the last few years i think that you know every year Things change in the NFL, and I you know, really this 18 team won't be the same as the 19. And the 17 team wasn't the same as this team, and the 16 team wasn't the same as 17. It's just I think one thing that's certain in the NFL is change. And coaches, players, I don't think it's a big secret that, you know, people are just moving on. And, um, you know, different people leave for different reasons. Um, over the years, I've seen it all, 19 years. And um, you just do the best you can do. You just – when you sign up to be a part of the team, you give everything you can to help the team win. And I think that's what I've enjoyed most about this organization. I have a lot of guys say that during this time we get this bye week, you're trying to rest. Is it hard to rest because everything is, the intensity is kind of ramped up and you're trying to make sure that you're covering all your bases to make yourself better? Yeah, I think you're trying to, I think you're trying to just stay sharp. And I think part of staying sharp is, is getting your body, you know, physically to its, to its peak as if, as it possibly can this time of year. So, um, you know, I think, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of no practice is, you know, five days that guys don't have to just be, you know, especially receivers, tight ends, running backs, you know, secondary guys that are running a lot. Um, you know, it's a good, good time of year to have it. So, last one. Uh, what stands out? Uh, you said every year is different, but this year is different. you got to put your finger on it. You know, it's, every team has its own unique identity. I mean, this team cares a lot about each other. And, uh, you know, we play for each other. And, um, you know, we're playing to win. I think that's what we're here for. And, uh, you know, we've shown we can compete. We've shown we could overcome some adversity. We've been counted out a few times. And um, showed back up with a lot of resolve. And uh, we have great character on this team. And, um, you know, like I said, our, our story is still being written. And fortunately, we have an opportunity to write it. And we got to go out there and play our best. Every team we play next week and, um, you know, beyond, hopefully, is a great team. They've earned it. The team we play will have won a playoff game. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to play our best game of the year.